So what was what has been the most important lesson you have learned about building and growing an audience for a podcast? What's been the most what? Important lesson you have learned about building and growing an audience for a podcast. Important lesson. Um don't take it seriously that's one big thing you got to do if you go into a podcast or you're posting a podcast or you're setting one up and you think it's the end of the world if something bad happens it's not this thing this this industry in the music podcast industry it's it's never it's never perfect it's not how you line it up and if you take it seriously it's gonna make it harder on you because it's it's a learning curve at the beginning and it's always going to be a learning curve because nothing is ever going to go perfectly as planned so that's what i learned that helped me because you just need to sit back and relax and realize that whatever happens happens so I forgot to even ask you this question before we started the show. So tell us where you're from and tell us your origin story. So I am from Vacaville, California, also home of Papa Roach, which everybody loves to tell me. Um, I, um, my origin story. Uh, so I, I have my mom and I mean, like she passed away a couple years ago which I love her. And this is another like inspiration behind my podcast, which is my mom. And she was the one that took me to shows. Like when I went to my first show, which was Aftershock when I was 11 years old, she was the one that came home with the tickets because she knew I love corn because corn is my favorite band. And I remember going to shows with her all the time and she's the one that got me into all this kind of music growing up. Like I have old video, like VHS tapes of me head banging to metal music. And I growing up in Vacaville, it was, I, especially being a metal head at my age growing up, it was definitely different, but like by the time middle school, it was a lot easier because a lot of, a lot of the emos came out. Mm -hmm. They're like, I was like, yes, finally, I don't have to be the only one into this. But, um, and I graduated from Vanden high school and I was class of 2020. <laughs> and that was definitely different because of all the COVID stuff. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like I've done a lot of stuff, but like, when I had this podcast, like when I had like, cause you go to a lot of life stuff before you find something that actually makes you happy. And like, that's what this podcast was is because like going through a lot that I've been through mm -hmm. and finding this podcast, it definitely saved me because like, I didn't know true, like do what you love meant until I found this podcast. I agree with you 100%. I'm in the same boat with you. Because before I started doing this, I was going to graduate in college with my cybersecurity degree. Actually, no, not even. Yeah, I was doing I was in college in 2018, didn't technically drop out, didn't really care to pursue, finish my degree. And I started doing photography and then COVID hit around 2020. I couldn't do that at all, go outside at all. So then around like 2021 is when I started my show. Just did like basic like short eight to 10 minute show episodes about a random topic and then Around episode twenty one is when I started doing interviews, and then oh, yeah. and then I've been doing it already for like three three and a half years. It'll be four years in October. That's what's up though, because like I tell like people that have a hard stuff, hard time with stuff. It doesn't have to be podcast. It doesn't have to be music. It doesn't have to be anything that gives you fame. But at least have one thing in your life that you do at least once a month, mm -hmm. at least once a month, mm -hmm. that makes you genuinely happy. That's for yourself. If it's like, I like to go window shopping, or I like painting, or something, something that actually makes you feel fulfilled as your, as your own self, that's what you have to do. Because if you don't do it, it's going to just be 
I'm stressing out. You're going to complain a lot about how hard things are. But that's why I don't really complain as much as I do because I have something to look forward to. If you have, I have podcasts all the time. I have something to look forward to. That's why I always schedule them. It's always so much fun because it all, like when it comes to that or like, oh, I'm going to paint this weekend or try to finish that painting or I'm going to record this this weekend or I'm going to try learning something on the piano or I'm going to get like take a class doing something in in college just to like know it because it makes you happy always do something that at least makes you happy one time a month 